Oh, come on. That kind of just actually happened. I've made my way today down to Parla, which is about 20 kilometers south of Madrid. Now, long-term viewers might recognize the name of this place, and to avoid repeating myself, I'm gonna point you in the direction of the previous video that I did from here if you want to know more about this city. Now, to be totally honest with you, if you're in Madrid, uh, and this might be a bit controversial to say, but if you're in Madrid and you don't come to Parla, uh, it's not the end of the world, to be totally honest with you. Now, today's team uh, is AD Parla. Now, it's a different team to the one that I saw the last time I was here. The last time I was here, I saw a club called Parla Escuela. Uh, now, you might say that natural order has been restored in Parla. Uh, as Parla Escuela, that are quite a new club, they were relegated uh, the last season and they finished with a pathetic points total. I think they got four points uh, all season last season. Uh, and basically, their place in the league was taken by AD Parla, who's traditionally the bigger club in the city, so they came up from the Preferente. So AD Parla was founded in 1973 and had plenty of early success. They rose through the ranks and made it up to the Segunda B within the space of nine years, and they spent five years at that level in the 1980s when none other than Rafa Benitez was their midfield linchpin. Now, I don't know why, but I've always found Rafa Benitez one of these managers that is kind of hard to imagine actually being a player. Uh, but this is where he honed this famous free kick technique that he was so desperate for Cristiano Ronaldo to copy. And that, my friends, is a fact. Anyway, the club wasn't able to sustain their initial success, mostly due to financial problems. It actually threatened their existence at one point. So they've not actually played in the Segunda B since 1988. Uh, they've mostly been a tercera club in that time. Without having said that, uh, they were in the league below last season, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, uh, but they bounced back immediately after one year away. So Parla started the season pretty well. They took 10 points from four games in September, but they followed up with a run of four defeats in a row, which was ended last weekend with a 2-2 draw away to Trivel Valderas. Now, they're going to have their work cut out today, though, because they're taking on Las Rothas. And, you know, I saw them last weekend and I enjoyed their performance so much, I decided to come and see them again. So what more can I say about them? They've won seven games in a row, they've won their last three away matches to nil, uh, and basically last weekend, I think, was the best performance I've ever seen of any team at this level. Not sure, quite call it a luscious grass pitch, but a grass pitch nevertheless. Well, I've got to say, this is a sensational vantage point. So I don't know if you can see the cracks in the slabs up here. So if you never hear from me again, you'll know why. In fact, you'll never know why. You'll never find out. I don't think Parla is really the place where I want to go. Uh, these guys are really dangerous from set plays last week. This is our first chance. Oh, what did I tell you? Oh, he's giving off sides. Oh, well, I'm going to have to look that back. Oh, a challenge. I love a meter challenge. Oh, two best chances coming from that left foot. Must be about 20 minutes in. That's the first time I think Parla have been in the Las Rothas box. And the first save of the game. And it's a good one. Oh, come on. That can't have just actually happened. There's nobody near him. Oh dear. I think the collective groan that just rang around the ground just sums that up, to be honest. Well, I think it's probably fair to say that the standard of the game today is not quite been at the level that it was at last week. I won now to Las Rothas and you can just tell there's a bit of a golfing class between the two teams. Uh, Las Rothas, to be fair, they haven't created that much from open play. It's mostly been from set pieces, which has also been the same for Parla. Uh, but you can just see from the way that they're playing uh, that they've just got a different level of player, a better quality of player. Uh, you know, Parla have been quite panicky in possession. I've been lumping it forward without 
uh, too much direction. Uh, that's rough, that's much more prone to putting the foot on the ball, knocking it around a bit. Uh, there's definitely grown in confidence a little bit after the goal as well. Um, and I don't know why, I've just got a feeling that Las Rothas are going to step up their game in the second half uh, and score another couple of goals. Right, so I made my way back out to the entrance where we've got the obligatory lower league social club slash bar. Doesn't seem to be a cafeteria here, but there is a bar. I always find it quite strange at half time in some of these lower league games in Spain. The, it seems just pretty much anybody can run on and have a kick around. Las Rothas manager just came out, he retweeted my uh, video the last time, but he's blanked me this time. I thought we were pals. Right, they said to me when I came in that I could go anywhere I wanted, as long as the referee didn't mind. So you're probably not going to see me stand on the penalty spot as much as I'd love to, but I'm going to test this theory a little bit in the second half. These guys are piped out of nowhere. Great. Well, the second half has really started not at all the way I thought it was going to be. And Barla have really set their game up. How is that not a goal? I'm telling you, Parla are making a real fist to this. I was not expecting this at all. And I'm away down the other end, what an idiot. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love these goal nets. I'm so sick of the standard ones you get in the top leagues everywhere. These ones are absolutely brilliant. Although to be fair, I think they were probably being used when Rafa was playing here. Keep your trouble now though, keep your trouble now! It's not over yet. That's over now. This is new, I've just heard the ball boys slagging off the linesman. He's getting a fair amount of abuse, and because I'm standing right next to him, I feel like I'm getting abuse as well. <laughs> Big handball shout. Not sure it was. Oh my god, what a chance right at the end! Last kick of the game, oh, what a save. And a keeper celebrating that like he's won the World Cup. Unbelievable ending to this game again. For different reasons today. Right, well, I think it's fair to say that was a very different type of victory for Las Rothas today. Uh, they were really struggling at the start of that second half. Parla absolutely flew out the traps. And it goes back to what I was saying at half-time in the first half. They didn't have any belief in their own ability. They were just lumping the ball forward without even looking. In the second half, they were getting the ball down. They were taking touches. Uh, they were much more composed in possession and it almost paid dividends. They were much more threatening in the second half. Having said that, I think every chance uh, to score in this game was from either a free kick, a corner or a cross into the box. Uh, so there were very few kind of incisive moves in open play. Um, Las Rothas, I think, definitely managed to stem the flow of parallel attacks uh, maybe midway through the second half. They basically just started fouling more. Uh, and you know, kind of matching Parla up in that sense. So, you know, as I said, a very different style of victory, but that's now four wins in a row away from home without conceding a goal. And good thing as well was the fans making a bit of noise towards the end of that game. The first half was pretty quiet, the second half things definitely picked up. So I'm definitely glad I came along. Uh, it is a little bit of a trek from the nearest train station. You're gonna be about a 20 minute walk. Um, but you know, it's uh, quite an interesting looking ground. And as I said before, absolutely love the goal nets here. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching. As always, I will leave, as I always do, links to social media down below. And I will see you guys again next week for the next video. Oh.